this is just how you are to type, man. What What about you, Miss Russia? Who me? How was the show for you? Comments, questions? Um, very stressful. <laughs> you didn't say nothing. Uh, because everyone was shouting, I got really agitated, and you know, I couldn't like I froze a little bit. Um, Nigga, and, al- and also a few times I tried to speak, and people were just speaking on top Nigga, of you, me. And... You didn't You didn't go to war. What do you mean? Like, you haven't been, you haven't been like in a war before. No. Oh, never mind. Russia, are... Russia, Ukraine. Okay, never mind. I'm a Londoner. Fifteen years. I've been saying this the whole time. I'm and kidding. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> like I don't have much connection anymore with you know. Understood. Well, if you didn't get much time to speak, is there any final like point you would, you want to make then? Yeah, you this is your chance right now, and you're just like. Fuck. Um. Well, I think that. Um, That's good. She said, "I think," <laughs> instead of "I feel like." I feel. Like. This is why she First, hasn't spoken. See, like I can't, you know, because I, all you want to do is just intimidate everyone. That's how I think or feel or whichever way it is. Because anything, uh, like I or someone else says, like just twist everything around, and you know. How did um, I twist that around? I was giving you a compliment. You like twist? What? Well, because because I I can't think or otherwise. Or what do you mean? Well, mm-hmm. I don't know if you've noticed, but almost every girl before they made a point said, I feel before they made their point. Yeah, Versus but I feeling think. is not lesser than thinking. <laughs> There's uh, uh, emotional yeah. intelligence, which we should probably read oh, about please, as well. Please, please don't do this. Oh, wow. <laughs> yo, let, let me, no, yo, no, 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 are, you, are, are you done? All right, what is emotional intelligence? Define it for me. I I'm not a dictionary. You have to. Go so wait, you it. just told me to have emotional touch, but you don't know what it means. Well, it's a feeling as well. <laughs> emotional intelligence, the ability to understand feelings and emotions. And no, process hold on, hold on. I, I have the fun question. So wait, well, hold I'm on. not a dictionary. I'm sorry, like I'm not so, like a book. Smart, so you just but... use the term that you don't know the definition of? Well, I understand it more visually. You have a master's degree. Visually, <laughs> what the fuck? She, you well, guys, do you know what? That's actually yes, really mean. Very uh, mean and very offensive. I'm super neurodiverse. Thank you very much. <laughs> and I'm not going to be bullied either. So we're not bullying you. It's just you said you, you need to have more emotional You're intelligence. To laugh and I said, me. okay, what is emotional intelligence? You couldn't define it. Yeah, because you don't have to define it like that. Not everybody so, can so express guys, themselves guys. or ex- explain so, things. That's so, why she went quiet when you guys attacked her. You said earlier this... words are important, right? You should know the meanings of it. Yeah, <laughs> you, said you said that. You said that. You said that. You said that. Because those are my standards. Oh, my those are my standards. My standards. That's what I stand for. Well, That's why when you asked emotional intelligence, I had a definition. Did I not? Like, why did I just laugh at yourself? I have a definition. Sometimes you do dumb shit. It's okay. Yeah. Like, just okay. She didn't do anything. Well, no, like you said, it's... Everyone, I mean, it's everyone. 4 a.m. Yeah, yeah. Oh, like, uh, using the excuse of 4 a.m. now. Okay. okay. You don't say nothing. So let, no, 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 no. Hold on. This is just hilarious. <laughs> this means we've been up for almost 24 hours to accommodate you, actually. So it's not very nice that you say that. That's another excuse. What was we that? also work. We've been... Most, yeah. I've been... Yeah. I've, yeah. Listen, so by, I get up in 20 minutes. I've been up from 5 a.m. until now, so it's not very nice that you send that to her. Huh? I told you it was going to be No, that's okay. Guy. You told yeah. me, but it doesn't yeah. matter if you told me. My time is also precious, you know? True. Yeah. Yes. Sorry, you asked. <laughs> no. Um, that's why I kept it. I, I just find this very uh, uh, funny. Um because she was the one answering the question, but you just did most of the because talking, which mean. is ridiculous. I don't like people picking on people, and I watch it, and I don't think it's I don't think it's okay. I didn't like what you said to her either. I think See, she's she has mean. to defend me. Like you have to step into your masculinity. I'm sorry, but I didn't like I didn't to. like no, no, that. No. I understand so why. Let me, I hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, I would no. never allow uh, anyone to speak somebody like that in my okay, house. Okay, okay. When a man look, doesn't look, protect you, so a woman, look, look, another woman has to. Do you do you not do you do you can you do you know what she said? No. Do you do you even know what she said about what? She like, said a lot of things. Okay. What did she say that you have an issue with? Uh, she didn't. I didn't have an issue with her. No, no. I had what, an issue with what okay, you what, said to what, her. What, which was what? That you, you're basically mocking her for the fact that she first said, I, you, you said that she said, I think, and then you even went on to then talk about her accent. And in fact, the three of you have been talking about her accent that or picking on her along the show. So when it gets to this way. point, and she even explained that she felt overwhelmed <laughs> to speak. my accent. She, she felt overwhelmed to speak <laughs> because you guys keep cutting off the moment that she speaks. And when you do, you do things like stereotypical that you'll jump on the fact that she's Russian or whatever. Yeah. And this time she's even Latvia. Exactly. So it's actually not nice. You're being unwelcoming on your show when somebody came to even give you views because you're shouting ahead saying all these things. That she's still there. Okay. You're not since, being you, since you didn't, since you yeah. didn't, uh, you didn't address it at all. Um, she said, I think, and I said, oh, great. You think instead of I feel, because a lot of you have said, I feel, which was a compliment. Then, right. She goes, oh, you need to learn emotional intelligence. And I'm like, okay, define emotional That's intelligence. That's not what she said. 
She said before that she said, You need to learn some emotional thinking? intelligence. She said, What's wrong with me thinking? He said, Well, because other people that, said feel. Was... She said, It's okay to feel. Feel is not lesser than thinking. Because emotion, you she maybe said, I think them it's you not need intelligence. to get some emotional intelligence. And I said, Define emotional intelligence. I think it's a misunderstanding. And she couldn't yeah. define emotional yes, intelligence. And we burst yeah. out into laughter. Because how are you going to tell someone? It's not that she doesn't know it. She's feeling overwhelmed. Not everybody is a public can speaker. I can no. speak confidently. She can't. Can you, you, talk too mu- you talk too much. Um, yeah, of course I do. Oh, you, you, like, shut now. the fuck up for two you seconds. shut the fuck up. Yeah, who the fuck are you talking what to? Fu- who are you talking to? Do you Bitch, get the fuck off my shit, man. Bitch, get the fuck off my shit. Bitch, get the fuck off my shit. Get the fuck up out of here, bro. Get the fuck up out of here. Get the fuck up out of here. You shut the fuck up. Get the fuck up out of here. Get the fuck up out of here, bro. Get the fuck up out of here, bro. Look like a fucking Teletubby talking shit over here, man. Get the fuck up out of here. Get the fuck up out of here, bro. You look like an idiot. That's why you swear so much at women that gave their time to be here with you. I sweat the fat off. Something you need to do. You're a fucking loser. I sweat the fat off. Something you need to do. I don't give a shit, man. Yeah, well. I can swear as much as you can. Okay. That doesn't make you a lady, though. It doesn't matter. Doesn't make you a man either. Well, a man doesn't act like this. Real men don't act like this. Real men know how to respect women, which you don't know. That's why you swear from respect, the moment you even Respect is earned. From the and moment, you exactly, you didn't hurt my respect. Why either. are you still talking? Just because leave. About to leave. Just leave. Get the fuck up out of here. Just leave. Fresh, you did earn my respect. You're cool. This guy's a freak. Okay. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen, we did a show together. Yo, respectfully, it's crazy, I bro. I don't even care. I said what I said. I'm You're leaving. built like a fridge, and you talking crazy I don't give shit. A shit, a fridge don't have curves like this, nigga. What curves? These curves. Uh, These disgusting, curves. bro. You you're weight almost 200 pounds. <laughs> I'm yeah, okay. well, I can, you're, I don't think I can. Accept you you this. look. Um, okay. You get the fuck up out of here too. Go back to your guy. Go back to him. Like get, you guys get the fuck up out of here. This is fresh fit. We don't give a fuck, man. The fuck up out of here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You can leave too. You guys <laughs> can't deal Three with fucking one. the truth, man. You yeah. This is fantastic. Yo. You know what's funny about? No, I'm telling you, shut the fuck up. Yo. You know what's funny about all three girls, bro? Bro, she ain't gonna do nothing, man. Yo, you know what's she ain't got no hands, bro. Yo, you know That's why I don't give a fuck. Women can't fight. Who gives a shit what the fuck they gotta say? You know what's funny about all Just three leave, girls? bro. Why, why y'all still. Like, Yo. They got, no, they got no ass. <laughs> <laughs> well, one's okay. fat. The other one got no ass. <laughs> Can we just end this man? God damn, bro. Okay, who's that? No, this is fucking hilarious. It is bro. funny, but this God is funny damn. As fuck, bro. Damn, so you, tricky. Guys, you guys Frank Castle everywhere. Yo, yo, yo. Huh? Like, yo, it's, it's crazy to me. You should have some emotional intelligence. Define emotional intelligence. She don't even know. <laughs> I have EI. These bitches are retarded, bro. What is EI? What is that? I don't know. Like, what the fuck? These chicks got mass degrees, too. That's the crazy part. For all you niggas watching the show, yo, bring smarter girls on. They're educated. This is what you get with educated girls. Yeah. Two mass degrees. Master retards is what they are. Hey. Oh Master fucking retards, bro. I got a headache, man. Yo. Guys, guys, shut up. Can't get them out of here. You guys have to shut up. Oh, they're still okay. Here. God damn, they're still here. Mm. What about you? Hey, if you sweat as much here, as me, you'd be move, thinner. Move out of the door. Get them out. <laughs> guys, you have to be quiet. Thank you. Sweating indicates good health, actually. Um, if she sweat more, she wouldn't be so fat. Oh, God. What? What about you? <laughs> Lost on the show. Hate, love the comments. Oh, my God. Uh, You're in shock right now? Um, I'm just chilling. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this is comedy. See you. Okay, right. I know, yeah. I know. Yeah. See you. Yeah. Okay. Troy, you good? <laughs> you good, all good, man. <laughs> See him. Quite a He's like, oh, shit. I'm, I'm going to say 90 kilos. <laughs> I don't know, nigga. I'm going to say 90 kilos. I don't bro. know, man. 90 kilos, man. Listen, I wish her the she best. She a buck 80 at least. <laughs> at least. We wish her the what best. are your thoughts on the show? <laughs> right, go ahead. On the show. Thank you for having me on. I've appreciated it a lot. Um, a new experience. I've been on other shows, but none quite like this. Um, took some valuable points from the lads. Um, also, a lot of information that I didn't actually know. Um, I think there's a lot that women can draw from this. Um, but I do think that there's... There's things that both men and women can do to help make courtship and relationships easier. Yes. Um, we can help ourselves. We can help each other. But yeah, thank you. W Black Queen. W. I, <laughs> I think what, what, what the lady here was saying, yeah. um, she was kind of saying like, oh, we should, it, we should like understand each other more. We should yeah, yeah. like learn. And, and that's absolutely right. But the problem is you've got to live in reality, haven't you? 
Because it's like I could say, well, women should understand me Mm. as a guy. They should understand my needs. I should understand women better and and so on and so forth. And yeah, absolutely. In a a, a utopian world. Yeah, yeah, in the ideal world. But unfortunately, we don't live in that world, you know, so we we have to sort of look at the reality as as it is. Yeah, no, I appreciate the guys um, for telling us the truth. Um, Sometimes I I do believe that women can be emotional creatures. We do. You just saw it. (laughs) We do see things through rose tinted glasses sometimes. there are things on our side that we feel like we could teach men. You know what's yeah. hilarious? Like, she said, words matter. You need to know the definition. Yeah, she said, she's the one that said it. Then this girl goes ahead and doesn't know the definition. And then she goes ahead and defends a point mm-hmm. that she literally just agreed with earlier. I don't. I think she didn't quite understand that you were trying to compliment her. And then it just... She no, no, but like, the wrong the, way. The, it, was, yeah, it, it yeah. got even funnier because he called her out like, yo, did you say words matter earlier? She did. And then yeah. she goes and said, and you stand on that. And she's like, yeah, I did, but I didn't like the X, Y, Z. So you're, you're sitting here arguing a point that you don't even agree with. The girl don't even know what emotional I, intelligence is. I remember no composure. <laughs> no composure. Hey, yeah, man, she said she had it. I don't see Yo. it. Anyhow. Yo, this was fucking Guys, this funny. was a great show. Yo. Listen, Pearl and Troy, where can they find you guys? <laughs> <laughs> Out of here. Yo, this is um, comedy. You can follow my, my YouTube channel, which is called The Data Game with Troy Francis. So look that up on YouTube. Follow me on there and on social media, uh, like Twitter, Instagram, at Real Troy Francis. The only other thing I wanted to say was I thought there were really interesting Red Pill moments in this. And, and actually, um, Very. what's the, the lady? Um, Sirkina. Yeah, Sirkina. Yeah. When well, she was talking about the guy that she was dating and the reasons she split up with him. And I thought that was actually really interesting because, like, you know, he's a rich Proof dude. So many, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And, and on paper, he was kind of for all the rich simps out there yeah that's what awaits you yeah yeah so that was i thought that was like really really interesting yo i I don't want to be an asshole but i mean i told her to her face or whatever i'll say it again bro she's mid and look at how fucking cocky she was bro she got no ass super cocky holy fucking mid yeah yo we're doomed if girls like mid girls like that yeah i think think if a mid girl acts like that you're fucking doomed for the rest of y'all man She's curving niggas? God she's damn, curving bro. niggas? God well, damn, bro. She's, she's talking, then she's talking about the, the billionaire dude or the, the guy with the private jets, yeah. and then she's, you know, swerving him because he's asking to give up the time and stuff I'll like that. It's you. like and this is why and this average. Is, and this is Check. why and this is why guys, like you said, like guys need to have everything. Yeah. Or at least we need to be working on everything. And, and then it, this, the, the fat chick tried to argue with me. I was like, yo, chicks, we literally have had girls on our show that are average as hell that have went out with future. Mm. Mm. We know. Like mm. and, and he smashed and everything. And it's like average ass chick. Look at this girl. Dude had jets and all this other shit hitting her up. Oh, I'm going to cover them because I want to. Like, mm. bro, it, I'm telling you guys, average women have options like that. That's why they don't respect most men. That's why they behave the way they do. That's why they're entitled. Like, oh, I got options. It's like, I mean, it's not viable options, but that's mm. what, the, what, that's what, like, for the guys, like, yo, this is, this is a world. We're in fucking London. We're across the country, yeah. across the pond, and it's the same prevailing issues that I've talked I about. I would have dropped forever. everything if Future invited me out. I- See, I don't have a life. Yeah, but, no, but, but, like, but what I'm trying to say is that like, yeah. like, cause I tell guys all the time, you got to get your money on point, become the best version of yourself mm. because average chicks have access to exceptional men. Mm. And they, and the thing is, is that they think that they're better than you now. This chick thought she was better than a multimillionaire and she put her time above his. This bitch had the audacity to say, well, my time is valuable. Bitch, you're on a podcast with million plus subscribers. This is a fucking, you're lucky to get this kind of exposure, but she put herself on the same level as us. Mm. Uh, you know, that's crazy the entitlement women have nowadays. It, it, it's just such a lack of humility in our yeah, generation. Even like, it, it baffles me when you call women average, how insulted they are. Because it's like average. Most people are average. Most people yeah, are average. I agree. Yeah. I, I don't. Yeah, yeah. I don't even think that's an insult. By definition, that is a majority mm. of people. They probably just feel so embarrassed, though. Like they can't take it. Mm. You know, just for them. You know what I've noticed though? Dudes are way, way more okay with. If I say, yeah. "Bro, you're an average dude," yeah, I'm an average yeah, dude. I, yeah. I'm Men are totally okay with being called average, but like but women, some like have issues. Mm. Thick skinned. I don't know. I just, and that's why it's clear, like they I, walk. I had nine siblings. We just bullied each other. <laughs> like some bullying is never, good. Some of you have never yeah. been bullied at a Character show. building. <laughs> bullying is good, man. Okay. I think it, it's needed more. And I think, not to be an asshole, I think we need to be more honest with women and women need to be bullied even more. This is why girls need brothers. Yeah. Your brother mm-hmm. bullies you, but from a point of love and he tells you yeah. he was never going to get with you. You're fucking delusional. You're stupid. Yeah. That was dumb. Yeah. And like girls need that shit. Like they need that... Um, Constant reinforcement. A constant negative reinforcement for bad behaviors. Yeah. Like, bro, if she, it, like this chick literally said, oh, yeah, I left him because my 17-year-old brother told me. What? Mm, you don't listen to kids. I knew so she was because she's been coming on for a while now. 
and I, I just knew he was. A, I don't know why. You could tell too, King, right? Yeah, yeah. We could, we could just tell it. Rich, yo, Dwarf, you're staffing yeah. behind the scenes. The niggas was just like, man. No, yo, 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 no, yo, it's yo, funny. Yo, yo, it's, it's hilarious. Yeah, because King, King's produced, and so is Blessing. So they've just seen so many people come in and out. Yeah. And London's so unique because we literally get people from like all, yes. all over the world. So like I've had people from Africa. I've had people from. Eastern Europe, um, Asia, like I, I can't even think of a part of the world we really haven't had. I'm critical from. of mass immigration, I, you know, in other podcasts, but in this case, it works out because yeah. I don't want to hear no more complaining from you, motherfuckers. People, yo, you just bring up Miami bimbles, bro. Bring girls off from no. other places. Yeah. Okay, nigga, we're in another continent <laughs> on the other side of the world, and girls are saying the same. I mean, dumb we were in shit. Colombia. They said the same shit too. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but the, but. Sakina, you felt that she just didn't respect the guy. She just lost respect for the dude. Is that kind of what it came down to? She didn't like him. Yeah, you saw it oh, coming from yeah. a, a while ago. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because I, I could just... I don't know. Like, when I notice when girls describe the guy they're with, if they start with, like, what he does and, like, his resources, I, I've, I've yeah. noticed that's, like, why they're with him. But if they start with something else... It, it tends to be or like else. if it's like a sigh like oh yeah he's yeah gonna. it's like mm. it, it, she if she's not beaming when asked about you mm. it, it's, yeah she she and, missed a big oh, opportunity oh, oh, oh. and yeah. and I, I i also think that girls that flex their guy as like a status symbol tend to not really like them that much they more like the status of like yeah. being in a relationship How because if you have a guy you really like why would you want to flex him then other bitches are going to try yeah, to sleep yeah. him. don't advertise him like. well they, they do though because like that's uh, yeah. th that, what i've noticed is like that's kind of how girls compete yeah it's like the, the, they kind of it's a status symbol. It's just yeah. sexual competition. Yeah, like, like it, for example, okay, I'll give you an example. Like, if a chick is super successful and like graduated from Harvard and shit, right? She has a good paying job. Mm -hmm. But another chick mm. is married to a dude that did all that. The girl that's married to that dude, she might have zero accomplishments, mm -hmm. but she's going to be more respected, like, by other women for having that guy as her husband mm -hmm. versus the girl that got her on her own, if that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, even though women will never admit that, but like, Oh, you have a family? Oh, you you're that's your husband? Oh shit. That's your boyfriend? Oh wow. And then you're single and you have all the same accolades, but it's like women don't respect that shit. Yeah. I saw a woman on the on the subway the other day and she had like a massive engagement ring on, like real yeah, big spot, yeah. oh. like diamond. And it just occurred to her, it's an obvious point, but it just occurred to me. It's like this is so much about display, isn't it? And it's yeah. so much about display yeah. to other women. It's like, look at this fucking mm -mm. thing. You know, yeah. I've got him, you know? Yeah, I tattooed mine on. <laughs> <It's> still <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, um, it, it's just yeah. it, like, I, I think, I mean, of course men do it too, right? You got the whole term, like trophy wife or whatever, yeah. but like, yeah. but like men is like, oh, let me show off her beauty. Like women are like, let me show off this man's status and success. Yeah. And it's harder to get. So it's like, you can get a hot girl. Like there's plenty of hot girls, but like, are there many attractive high status guys that also can like keep you in your place? Mm -hmm. Nah, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So.